in times like this. You just gotta tap into his inner demons and think, what would your mother want? Does she want this nut? Jesus. Who's gonna fuck your mother tonight? Jesus Christ. That's it. It's over. <laughs> What's going on, you fucking retards? It's arm day, so you know what that means? We're about to get a nasty fucking pump, and then we're gonna go hit your mom's house right after this. Let's get to it. What's going on, you fucking retards? It's arm day, so you know what that means. We're getting a nasty fucking pump, and we're fucking, uh... <laughs> What's going on, you fucking retards? Today we're hitting arms, which means we're... <laughs> What's going on, you fucking retards? It's arm day, see that up? <sighs> it's fucking arm day, goddammit. You know what that means. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's get right to it. Any uh, tips for the TikTokers today? Kill yourself. Okay, so first thing we're doing for arms today, as always pretty much, I always start my arm workouts off with triceps, primarily because triceps are the bigger muscle group on your arms, so they are going to create, not the illusion, but they're what's really gonna make your arm look bigger, um, more so than your biceps. So I always just wanna prioritize those, especially given the fact that they're also weaker compared to my biceps, uh, just for me. But I always start off with a unilateral cable push down because starting off with that unilateral movement helps to increase uh, motor unit activation or it just, it recruit more motor units is what I meant to say. But you just get a better contraction you get everything stimulated, you get everything going to the right places, and it helps transfer into the following movements that I'll do for triceps by starting off with a unilateral movement, at least for me. Alright, so for triceps today, we started off with the single arm extensions, which I pretty much always start off my arm workouts with because triceps are my weaker body part compared to my biceps, so I always start with triceps and starting with that unilateral movement helps for uh, better motor unit recruitment, so you just get a better stimulus and just fucking more out of it essentially. I like to start my arm workouts with unilateral movements. And then moving into the next exercise here, we got this little contraption on the Smith machine for a JM press. So it's reverse banded, and uh, we're just gonna jump right into that, work up to like two top working sets, maybe you back off, just feel it out. So, when we're doing this, we want to think of your mother bent over. <laughs> <laughs> Please elaborate on why that's what we would be thinking about. Because it's going to drive your testosterone up and help you get an extra fucking rep. And that's what it's all about. It's still your mother fucking said you got more reps to go. So, thinking of your mother bent over will specifically help in that aspect. But when it comes to the execution, what we want to be thinking of with the jam press is bringing the bar to around you know, area, your chin, nose, eyes, basically right where your mother would sit. <laughs> but it's gonna be different for the individual. Some people are a little bit more comfortable, you know, around the chin, some are more around the eyes. I'm bringing it to right around my nose. And as we do that, as we lower the eccentric, I'm gonna be fully loading the triceps, not putting a ton of pressure on our shoulders, 
and then driving fully through the triceps as well, getting that full contraction at the top. So having intent with execution is always crucial in order to get the most out of movements because we could easily do this and just throw a bunch of weight on and just turn it into a bunch of fucking shoulder anterior delt work and take the focus away from what we're trying to do. So we don't want to do that. Always have intent with your execution. So it's 12 reps there, pretty good. I think, like I said, if I would have gone heavier, just to try to get like six to eight, it probably would have fucking ended up hurting my elbows. So it's a good spot. I'll drop it down to 185 now, down to a quarter, and do an AM wrap with that on a back offset here. We gotta wait 47 more seconds because in order to be optimal, I have to wait at least seven minutes between sets. So we're just counting down, otherwise, the workout becomes useless. Mother's gonna love this pump. All right, so the third exercise that we're doing for triceps is this little variation of like a unilateral skull crusher with uh, the cables here and the cuff and this prime bench that we just got here. Uh, I saw this guy Eddie, this guy Eddie that trains here, do this the other day. So I'm giving it a shot, just messing around with it, trying something new. It feels pretty good, so I'm just gonna roll with it, do a couple of sets, just keep going up and wait till I get to like probably like a top set around 12 to 15 reps, maybe stick there for one or two sets, maybe do a rest pause, alternating rest pause, something like that, and just see how it goes. Yeah, buddy! <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> uh, yep. Oh. This is a little bit easier when you got the dominoes in you. <laughs> uh, seven, eight, how do you feel this? Nine, <laughs> 10. <sighs> this pump's tighter than your mother. <laughs> uh, actually, your mother's not that tight after you got she had your fat ass. You fucking loser. Uh, uh, how many reps is that? Uh, okay. One more. Yep. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. you guys the yeps create more yeah reps yeps equal reps yeps equal reps and more reps equal your mom everybody's looking at me all right so we just did the top set i have no idea we just did uh the top set and i have no idea how many reps i did because i lost count i was just too focused on your mother 
but now we're gonna drop the weight a little bit and do an alternating rest pause. So I've covered this before. Rest pause is, you know, doing all that set to failure, take a little short break where it's like, you know, you take 15 breaths around 20, 30 seconds and you go again to failure for like three rounds. But with alternating, we're not really taking an, an actual rest because we're just going back and forth between arms. So I'll do this arm, go to failure, go straight to the other arm, go to failure, go back and forth because the time that's spent doing the other arm counts as that little bit of rest for the arm that just went. So three rounds, each arm, right to it. So one thing to know there is that whenever we're doing unilateral movements, we have the luxury of being able to spot the opposing arm, which is what I did nearly every time for my left arm, because my left tricep is somewhat weaker than my right. So risky, I should have led with my, my left tricep, so I fucked up on that, but um, you always wanna lead with the weaker arm, that way you can match the amount of reps with the right arm, so or the, the stronger arm, so that you're not doing more, but either way, you have the uh, option to assist that arm to get the same amount of reps as the other arm, which is what I was doing there. So three rounds, alternating rest pause set. Obviously, by TikTok standards, this is not optimal. This will make you small. But again, the people telling you that are the people that are small. So who should you really listen to? I don't know. Think for yourself. You can listen to the guys who are big and banging your mother. Okay, so moving on to uh, biceps now. So we did three movements for triceps. We'll come back for the final one at the end of the workout. But we're gonna start off with some unilateral preacher curls. Again, I feel like I always start my bicep movements with this, just because if it's a great way to, you know, get everything activated, get everything firing, we'll start light, do a couple of warm-up sets, potentially eat the muscle, get into some working sets here. Probably do one top set of like 12 to 15 reps, turn that into another alternating rest pause set, and then move on with another bicep workout. But. Uh, Real quick, I want to show you guys a tip because I got asked the other day as to what you should do if you don't have a good connection with your biceps. So this really can apply to any muscle group, what I'm going to show you here. But really what you want to do is, first thing I would do is come onto a preacher curl machine specifically and come back here and get, well, first of all, whenever you're doing preacher curls, you want to make sure that your armpit is down into the pad and you want to come into the fully shortened position in that contraction, hold your bicep with the opposing arm and really feel that contraction and just work here work within this tiny bit of range of motion 
and feel that squeeze and contraction and just really get in tune with that and connect well. And then once you really can tune in with that contraction here, because with the thing with the preacher curl machine is that you have constant tension up here with dumbbells or barbell, you can do this, but it's gonna be a little bit harder to really get that feel out of this. Here would be a lot easier or with cables too. Um, so you wanna get this down, work within a tiny bit of range of motion, just up here, just partials. And then once you can really feel that, expand your range of motion to the point where you can still keep the focus and tension on the bicep throughout the entire range of motion. So I can feel the contraction here, now we expand, now we expand. Now if I come here and I, I just can't feel my bicep anymore, we've gone too far. So you cannot always just jump into things at 100% if you aren't able to execute with intent. So these are the steps that we take in order to get there, in order to effectively execute these movements. So we work from that little bit of range of motion, get the connection down, expand it to now where I can thoroughly feel my bicep, the tension being placed on my bicep and driving with it throughout the entire range of motion and I can execute this movement with intent. And now we can transfer that over into other bicep movements and that way we are able to develop a better connection, better neurological connection with the, with the muscle, have that better mind-muscle connection and get better stimulus, get more, more out of our sets and ultimately grow more. So again, this can apply to any muscle, you know, we can do it on tricep extensions, the, the lower end of a kickback, on a chest press machine, just or a fly, really feeling that connection, the contraction, and just expanding that range of motion to the point where we're able to thoroughly drive the muscle throughout the whole, the whole thing. So, hopefully that makes sense. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, it makes sense. Awesome, great. So we're gonna get ready to this now. Yep. One, two. There you go. Four, five, six, yep. Eight, yep. Nine, who? Oh, yeah. No. Just 10 reps this side. I do 10 reps on that side. And then I gotta do 10 pumps in your mom. Is it okay, mommy? Where are you? <laughs> I'm <laughs> we're in the, the trend sphere. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do rest pause now, but we're not going to do alternating. We're just going to do double bilateral and uh, just get right into it. So again, failure, three rounds, about 15 breaths in between each round. So like 20, 30 seconds. Yep. <laughs> Again. Just getting lower and lower. I was gonna say something really bad, but we can't. <laughs> What's next? I feel like, I don't know, you know? You know what I'm saying? Somebody said, you know, you gotta act more professional, you're a coach. I said, go fuck yourself, you sound like a fucking retard, all right? You know what I do? I take fucking 80 milligrams of Adderall. I come here, 
I get a little silly, I get a little goofy, I get a lift, I get fucking huge, I go home, I pinch Trend, and I take another 80 milligrams Adderall, and I write fucking programs, and everybody gets huge. So, so win-win for everybody. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Then, I go knock on every door and find the local mothers. I do my daily service, and uh, we call it a successful, productive day. That's how Seb rolls, that's how Seb likes it, and that's how your mother likes it, so that's how you like it too. You're watching this video, and you're liking this video, because if you're not, if you're not liking it, if you're not subscribing, you're wasting my time and your time. Go fuck yourself. Second exercise for uh, bicep baroonies, we're gonna do some good old barbell curls. Probably go a bit heavier on these. I haven't done these in a long time, but I just feel like doing them, so that's why we're gonna do them. Somebody also asked, are my workouts always the same every week? And no, they're always different. They kind of stay around like the same principles, but uh, I change my workouts every time. I cannot be consistent with doing the same shit every day. You know, people will often say, that's the best way to go about things. And that's obviously how we write programs, right? Because you can't write a program to change something every fucking day. But when you become more experienced and you know how to auto-regulate your training, auto-regulate regulate your volume, and you just have a feel for your body, you can train instinctively very efficiently. And if that's how you like to train, it's arguably gonna be more efficient for you because if your workouts are boring and mundane, what's really the point of doing this? So I enjoy switching things up more so for myself. It keeps things more fun, more, you know, and just enjoyable, and uh, that's why I like to fucking train. So no, my workouts are not always the same, but they are in some aspects. But yeah, we're gonna... Here we are. So we did it was like two or three sets, yeah, like three sets on the barbell curls. I just stuck with 95. I haven't done that in a long time. 95 honestly felt decently heavy. So three straight sets there. I think it was somewhere between like eight to 12 reps each. And now we're moving on to dumbbell hammer curls, alternating. And we're probably gonna do just one or two straight sets here. Again, around like eight to 12 reps, maybe a bit higher. And uh, then we'll move on to the final superset to end the arm workout. Feel the burn. Oh my god. Two. Two. Three. Three. There's a fucking hair in my mouth. Next time. <laughs> it's fucking nasty. Super sick. Right. What are we gonna super set? Your mother and your sister. <laughs> Which one goes first? <laughs> All right. So to finish up this arm day, we're gonna do this little tricep bicep super set here. So we got the seated overhead extensions with the rope attachment, and then we got lying cable curls here bilateral as well, both arms 
and uh, we're gonna aim for around 12 to 15 reps each. Just do two sets uh, of each one and uh, just go to failure, end it with the nasty pump. And then after this, if everything's looking right, you know, the juices are flowing, we're gonna head right over to your mother's. Fucking me up. This goddamn motherfucking retard seat. We just bump it up. Just bump it up. We got to bump it up. Bump it up. This guy doing. Times like this, you just gotta tap into those inner demons and think, what would your mother want? Does she want this nut? Jesus Who's Christ. gonna fuck your mother tonight? Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's it. It's over. <laughs> That's all for today's arm workout. I don't know how much volume I did, I don't know how many sets. You could probably count it, and I probably, you know, talked about it somewhat throughout the workout, so you could add it up if you want, you could try the workout if you want. You know, totally your call, but you guys know the drill. Make sure you're subscribed, make sure you like this video. Don't take what I say to offense. I know some of you guys take what I say seriously. It's not my fault that some of you just don't have the minimum IQ to understand a lot of this is sarcasm, but on a more serious note, I gotta get running, your mother's waiting for me, and you guys know, always use code SEB whenever you order anything from Raw Revive. Appreciate it. Just had a trend, just had a trend attack. Just the heart, the heart almost stopped. What was I saying? Your mom's waiting for me, I gotta get going. Make sure you always use code SEB whenever you order anything from Raw and Revive, and I'll catch you guys on the flippity doo -dah. He's out, Gypsy.